Hi all folks, so today I'm going to show you how to route your Motorola Atrix 4G the easier way. This method is based on uh, the SBF file method and it's very easy. Download the Atrix 4G root uh, file and what we're going to do, uh, go unzip it, I'll have links below. Um, we're going to turn off our phone, right? And we're going to put it into RD, RSD mode. I think what is it? Yeah, RSD mode. So what we're gonna do is uh, it's turned off. Hit the volume up button, and while holding the volume up button, hit the power button and hold them down together. All right, and you'll get the uh, Motorola sign, and it'll say starting RSD protocol support, and then connect your uh, connect your USB to your Atrix 4G. All right, and let's go to our computer. And you'll have to install the drivers to uh, recognize the uh, RSD mode. So what we're gonna do is, if you have Windows 32-bit, you use the handset underscore USB driver underscore 32-bit version 4.9.0.msi. Or if you have 64 like me, double click on that one So if you double click on that one, you get this uh, Motorola drivers wizard. Anyway, just say yes and install. And this will allow you to uh, use the RSD protocol. And I'll show you how to double check that the drivers has been installed correctly. So I'll be back when this is done. And once that's finished, um, I can show you can go to control panel like I'm doing here and go to um, hardware and sound, open up device manager, and you should be able to see that uh, Motorola flash interface is there. Once that's done, um, it's very easy. We're going to go next, um, go back to the Atrix 4G root, the, the folder that has everything in it, um, click on RSD Lite and install that program and simply install it and we'll be back when this is done so when that's installed uh, you get this RSD Lite program so double click on it and uh, we should be all ready to go here and file name you'll see the file name and just choose the preinstall.sbf that is the rooted uh, latest version for 1.83 I think yeah and then this is the wrong one. Um, go find the directory where you unzip the Atrix 4G root. Uh, where is it? And click on preinstall.sbf and open. And just simply hit start. And you'll see that uh, it's installing the rooted ROM. And make sure you back up everything before you start um, rooting your Atrix 4G. I won't be responsible if you lose anything. Um, I would just say just use a app like Titan, uh, well not Titan, back up. Just make sure you're ready to, yeah, just back up all your photos and videos and, um, before you do this, because you might lose everything. Um, but this is being executed 2% and it's going to keep going so I'll be back when this is done and we should have a rooted Atrix 4G phone um, that was pretty easy right and right now it's only supporting um, Windows so I would just success, uh, suggest to you you can use like a VM software VMware for Mac or uh, Linux or you can just you know your friends probably have a Windows old Windows laptop I would just borrow it for a couple days or a week. You know, I'll be back when this is done. Anyway, it's almost 99%. By the way, uh, Norway just got attacked by terrorists. Um, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube. Um, I hope they're okay. Anyway, um, it's almost done. So when it's done, it will it should reboot. Yeah, it says it's being rebooted, and I'll be back when it reboots. Next, what we're going to do is uh, put it into um, development mode. So hit settings, um, applications, and development. 
and make sure USB debugging checked on and it's connected to your computer. And let's go to the computer and we're going to uh, install the SU. Next what we're going to do is uh, download and unzip adb.zip, I'll have links below, and unzip it to the root folder of your hard disk such as C slash adb. Um, so, and then do cd slash, that's backslash, sorry it's my Korean phone acting up, and adb and type adb shell alright and then you're going to type slash pre install slash do su do that and then you type cp slash pre install slash su space slash system oops system slash bin slash like that Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, actually, what you're gonna type is this. Just copy and paste it. Slash bin mount. Um, do that, and then type uh, cp. I'll have I'll have the instructions on my blog. You just copy and paste it, or you can type it too, and hit that, and then type chmod six seven five five slash system bin slash su and enter and then type path equal slash system slash bin um, all this and then press enter all right and let's go back to our phone and if you look at your phone you should have a super user app you can press on it and as you can see it's working and you can use uh, run a super user app uh, rooted app like wireless tether I have. You can download this um, just type on Google Android Wi-Fi tether and you can download the APK. Let me start it and this is actually gives you a free Wi-Fi tethering for your uh, phone without paying AT&T more money. You can hit allow. So there you go. Now it's been rooted on 1.8.3. This will automatically uh, install 1.8.3 the, the latest OTA with root and now you have fully rooted Atrix 4G.